Meghan's £1 billion wedding gift to Britain. Party weekend to celebrate their marriage. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry will marry on May 19 at Windsor Castle's famous St. George's Chapel. It was revealed today. The couple have chosen to ignore royal tradition and walk down the aisle on a Saturday so more people in the UK and across the globe can watch on TV or even come to Berkshire on their wedding day. A royal aide told Mail Online, they remain hugely grateful for the messages of support they have received from people all over the world. But football fans are bemused because they will wed on FA Cup final day even though Harry's best man Prince William is FA president and usually presents its famous trophy to the winners at Wembley. It could also lead to a TV coverage clash of the first major royal wedding since 2011 and the biggest football match of the year in Britain. The date also means Harry and his fiancée will not to marry on either the early May or late May bank holidays as wished for by some working Britons. And May 19th ensures that the wedding will not overshadow the birth of the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge's third child in April and allow Kate the time to recover. Royal sources insisted last night the events would not overlap, which suggests the wedding could take place in the morning, with the cup final in the late afternoon. A royal aide said the couple opted for a weekend wedding because they wanted as many members of the public to be involved as possible, whether by watching it on television or attending in person at Windsor. The male understands Harry and Meghan were keen to avoid the possibility of having to declare a bank holiday and wanted the wedding to seem more informal. Most couples get married on a Saturday and it wasn't as if they had to worry about another couple already having snagged the date, said a source. Last night the mail revealed the Archbishop of Canterbury will marry Prince Harry and divorcee Meghan, in another sign of changing royal and religious mores. In a radio interview yesterday Justin Welby declined to say whether he would officiate at the service, saying only that it was up to them. But the male understands that he has, in fact, already agreed to marry the couple in St. George's Chapel at Windsor Castle in May. The Suits star, 36, will be baptized and confirmed before the ceremony at St. George's Chapel in the grounds of Windsor Castle. May 19 is an inauspicious day for one former royal because it was when Anne Boleyn was beheaded on the orders of Henry VIII at the Tower of London in 1536. Royal weddings usually take place on a weekday. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge wed on a Friday and the Queen on a Thursday. Kate's sister Pippa married on May 20 this year. The wedding falls on the day of the 2018 FA Cup final. As president of the Football Association, Harry's older brother the Duke of Cambridge usually attends the high-profile match and presents the trophy. But this year, William, who is tipped to be Harry's best man, looks likely to be otherwise engaged with wedding duties. Commenting on a fixture clash. An FA spokesman said, Saturday May 19 promises to be a wonderful day with such a special royal occasion being followed by English football's showpiece event, the Emirates FA Cup final. With millions coming together to watch both events at home and around the world, it will be a day to celebrate. Harry and Meghan's engagement was announced by the Prince of Wales on November 27, with Harry saying he was thrilled to be marrying the Suits star, admitting he knew she was the one from the first day we met. In the sunken garden at Kensington Palace last month. Meghan showed the world her engagement ring designed by Harry himself, containing two diamonds from Princess Diana's own personal collection set in a gold band. The prince proposed in early November after getting permission from the Queen and Meghan's parents. They had been engaged for almost a month before announcing the news. Royal protocol dictated that fifth in line to the throne Harry had to ask his grandmother the Queen for permission to marry and she agreed in the month where she celebrated her own 70th wedding anniversary. Harry revealed a year ago he had fallen for the actress after a four to six month secret relationship. The prince and his American fiance, who divorced her first husband in 2013, will move into Nottingham Cottage in the grounds of Kensington Palace next door to his brother William and sister in law Kate. The wedding will come about a month after the due date of the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge's third child. Harry also asked Meghan's parents Thomas Markle and Doria Ragland, who divorced when their daughter was six, for her hand in marriage before popping the question. Meghan Markle made history this week after the Queen took the unprecedented step of inviting her to spend Christmas at Sandringham before she marries Prince Harry. The star, 36, will spend the festive period at Her Majesty's private estate in Norfolk even though Kate Middleton was only asked after she walked down the aisle with Prince William in 2011. The Queen's invitation to the US-born actress is further evidence of the royal family's warm welcome for her ahead of the couple's May wedding at Windsor Castle. Meghan, who will take British citizenship and get baptized by the Church of England before the wedding, will also attend the Christmas Day service at St. Mary Magdalene Church, Sandringham. She and Harry, 33, who are now living together in a two-bed cottage in the grounds of Kensington Palace, will also take part in the traditional walk to Mass by the entire royal family. Confirming the news today a Kensington Palace spokesman said, You can expect to see the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, Prince Harry and Ems Markle at Sandringham on Christmas Day.
Thank you.